Just behind me is the beautiful fishery town of Cove in County Cork and I've taken a short 10 minute ferry journey across to a place that I think it's fair to say not everyone knows about in Ireland and I think they should because of its history, its notorious past, I've come here to Spike Island. For over 1300 years, just the name alone Spike Island was enough to conjure up fear in the people who heard it. It was a place of punishment, hardship and terrible sorrow. John Crotty is the general manager and is telling me a bit about its history. I mean, it started right back with the monastery in the 6th century, but that quickly got converted into military and prison use. Uh, it actually became the biggest prison in the world in the 1850s when the famine years really drove the numbers up. So during the, the terrible famine years, for petty crimes, this was the place where people would be sent before they were put on a ship to Australia? Absolutely, yeah. Transporting was the name of the game back then, and essentially you could be sent from the mainland over to Spike Island. Uh, you might serve maybe three or four years and then be sent on to Australia, or possibly the Barbados or the Americas. Ten times the size of Alcatraz, Spike Island was not just somewhere where you did time. For many, it was the end of the line. At one stage, conditions in the prison were so bad, 10% of inmates would die of pneumonia or disease. Back then, prison wasn't about rehabilitation or reform. It was about punishment. Oh my god. So John, what would conditions have been like for a prisoner in one of these cells? Absolutely appalling. Uh, they would have slept on the floor in a windowless cell and they would have actually been chained to the wall for 23 and a half hours a day. It chained to the wall? Chained to the wall. It really was the worst treatment imaginable. In pitch black? In complete darkness. It would be the worst of the worst in fairness. Uh, would have been murderers, rapists. Uh, they really did round up Ireland's worst at uh, different points in the 18th century and bring them here. In another wing of the prison was the section for young offenders all under 16 years of age. Archaeologist Debbie tells me more. Some of those were as young as 11. Some of them were brought in for petty crimes. What would an 11 year old have to have done to find themselves in a place as horrific as this? Quite often not much, stealing something because they were hungry, stealing something for their families. In some cases assault, there were slightly more serious crimes. Most of the, most of the crimes were petty. This particular 11 year old uh, that I've just been told about was brought in for having a pocket watch on his possession, which he possibly had stolen, and was considered to have been better value than he was. So he was incarcerated here, sentenced to seven years transportation, and never made it to the ship. He died here. In a place with such a dark history as Spike Island, there have been many reports of mysterious happenings over the years. Lorraine is one of the workers here. I've seen shadows. You've had your name called. And you yeah. know there's no one else there? There's no one else there, no. And, and do you think you're imagining it or...? No, 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 it is. Somebody has definitely said Lorraine. And I looked back and there's been nobody there. There was one of the girls pushed here. She came in and she was physically pushed up against the wall. Remind me <laughs> what I'm doing here <laughs> again. In 1985, tensions led to violent riots breaking out, resulting in half of the buildings being set on fire. And after that, the prison started to wind down. But it's interesting to think that it is still recent history because the last prison was left here in what, 2004? 2004, literally that recent, yeah. We've had quite a few of them come back and say hello to us and show us their cells. So certainly there's been a very modern element to the prison story as well as the 200 year old element. Spike Island has now become a tourist attraction and features in the soon to be released film Lost City of Z, a movie about the famous explorer Percy Fawcett who lived on the island for three years. Well, John, it was great meeting you and thank you for the tour of Spike Island. You're very welcome, Colm. Well, it wouldn't be the Spike Island experience without a little cell time, so you enjoy your stay. Enjoy my stay? What are you talking about? I'm not here to stay. Hey, this wasn't the plan, John. This is a remarkable place with a remarkable history, and it's hard to believe that somewhere like this existed just off the coast of Cork.